and um, we love it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else. No. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of United We Invest TV. As always, I'm Art Morrison III with a very special guest. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Lori Morrison Dennis. This is my mom, everybody, but not just my mom. That's not why she's in the video. She's in the video because she is the realtor that found us this gorgeous property we're about to show you. 9009 McKeithen Lane in Leland, North Carolina. But my mom moved here years ago, was inspired to get into real estate. She got into it, and who better to get into it with than us here at United <laughs> at United Home Relief. So we're gonna do our initial walkthrough like we always do. Let's do the outside first and then we'll go in. Let's take a look. So I'm happy that we got here today. We just flew in and we rushed here because I didn't know when they were gonna finish the siding, but you can always already see the old siding. They didn't remove any siding. That's literally how the house looked before they started siding. And you can see the new siding going over it already. Super beat up, roof looks rough. We're just gonna clean it. It's not a bad roof, but the house just looks rough because it's in nature and nature's elements always kind of beat up the house a little bit, which you'll see on the deck and on the paint and all of that. So mom, what, how many acres is this? If I'm not mistaken, it's about a half an acre. A half an acre? Yeah, and the square footage of the house and the you can know, always just Google yeah, it. Yeah, I know, but I know it's over 2,000 square feet. Yeah, I think it was like 2,400 square yeah. feet, I want to say. Yeah. So we're sitting on a lot of land. The foundation of the property, we're going to paint white. We went with a gray siding because it's the easiest to sell, right? We never lose any customers because they don't like yellow or don't like blue or green. Everybody's okay with gray. If you look here, we got two HVAC systems that are fairly new. So we get to save money. We don't have to put in new HVACs, right? New condensers. Whenever you see two condensers, it's a good sign. It lets you know that you got a good size property. And this property, I didn't even go through the specs. We were able to get this property for, what did we get this for? 212,000, right? Yes. $212,500 and it's worth up to 600,000, but I like to play things conservative in this more rural area. Probably $450,000 where we're listed. And if we get more, we get more, but we're only doing $130,000 worth of work. So if you could do quick math, that's over $100,000 of potential profit, which is why I'm walking around the house with a big smile on my face, because all I see is dollar signs. <laughs> so this property, you see the fence, that's not where the property ends. It actually goes about another, what is that, 40 yards? Yeah. Another 40 yards. So. So you guys saw the deck, it's a little beat, but it's stable, it's in good condition. So same thing with the front porch, which we'll go to first. So it's like we came in the front. So all we need to do out here, since the porches and the decks are pretty solid, is really just sort of refinish them, power wash and some paint, and we'll be on our way. Right here in the front, you can see two windows surrounding the door. This is actually one all new door. They had this weird like window door combo, kind of man-made. So we just went and got a new door and give it that prestigious feel when you walk in with the two glasses on each side of the door. So where we're standing right here is essentially a foyer of the property. You walk in and it's just a big open space, closet, coat closet. I mean, you could put a whole couch in here. You're gonna hear me say, I mean, and wow, and you could, a whole lot in this video because it's just so much space to do so many things. So this room right off the foyer is like a family room. I mean, there's a lot of light. This could be a kid's playroom. It could be just sort of an entertainment room, man cave, however you want to make it. But um, I love when properties have these rooms where you can just be creative and just make up something. Because it's a room that you really don't need in this property and you'll see why. My favorite feature of these rooms would normally be these big open windows that we're seeing in front of the house, but my contractor did do an awesome job at recommending putting in these basically floor to ceiling windows in this room. These were not here before. This was the contractor's idea, and I totally see why she made that decision because it's, those are just amazing and really make that room. Okay, so I guess this is the, what is this? This will be the, considered the living room. Living or dining? Living. living. Okay, so this is the living room right off the foyer. So again, any house where you can have a living room that don't have a TV and an entertainment center, is that's like the prestigious way of living. You're not really supposed to have entertainment in your living room. It's supposed to be a place where you can sit, relax, read, etc. So being that we have this adjacent entertainment room over there, now you can really have a quaint living room in this room right off the foyer. So when you have a house with this square footage at this price point, 
which you know, four hundred fifty thousand dollars in North Carolina is a lot. That's like eight hundred thousand in New Jersey, where we're from. So when you're at this price point, you want that prestigious feel. All right, kitchen, massive kitchen. I mean, I don't care if you're a wife, husband, you like to cook, you don't like to cook. Kitchens this big excite anybody for congregating, having company over, right off the back deck too. I mean, this is just an amazing sized kitchen. I don't even know what to say. I don't, what are we doing with this? Are we doing a big island in the middle? Yes, it did not have an island. It just had countertop along the walls. Yep, so we got all new windows in already. You can see the recessed lighting installed. So at this point, all that's left to do is wrap this bad boy with cabinets and countertops and put a nice big island in the middle for that communal feeling that I was just describing. This is or was the dining room, but I like what you said. It could be whatever you want it to be. Yeah, I, even be I like this room. as a dining room right off the yeah. kitchen. Overlooking the backyard. It's a little more, there's less windows here. So it is giving more of a dining feel. Um, with just the, the, the singular window overlooking the backyard and you know the direct access to the kitchen So I love this dining room space. I just love how the dining room is continual into the kitchen It makes the kitchen the kitchen is already big, but it makes the kitchen feel bigger And these two rooms are actually responsible for the whole backside footprint of the house Okay, you guys know if you've been watching any of these episodes my golden rule always add a bathroom If you want to add value to a house add a bathroom down here, this was a bathroom already? Yes. Okay, so this a, already was a half was a bath. bath so we added a shower to make it a full bath. This was the sink, okay. toilet. Sink, toilet, shower. See, this is why mom was with us. <laughs> uh, we just built this shower. So obviously we have to put a drain, etc. But now we added a standing shower downstairs for guests. Uh, I think the sink and the toilet is gonna move. We made this a half bath and right behind you all over here, is a laundry room, okay? So this was already the laundry room. We considered moving it upstairs and you'll see why in a second. The bathroom is just massive upstairs. But we decided just to leave it so we didn't have to move the hookups, etc. Because there's plenty of footprint here and uh, so less work for us to do, honestly. Less work means less money. Okay, so here we are back in the front of the house. There's nowhere left to go except upstairs. So let's go. Look at this, more foyer. I love, it's funny because I hate empty, unused space in smaller properties like when we were in Jersey. But in properties like this, again, it just fits the feel of that prestige. So right here, we got one bedroom, nice size closet space, two windows, good ceiling height. The room size, we were just saying, I haven't seen this property yet. You know, videos don't do these justice really. Being here in person, even I mean, I guess you guys are watching my video, so it's not doing justice for you either. But seeing these in person, they're really nice size rooms. So this is another bedroom about the same size, closet space. Again, two windows, plenty of light, good ceiling height. So, what is that, two bedrooms? We're gonna put a bedroom counter on this video. <laughs> two bedrooms. This is not a bedroom, but it could be because it's so big, this is a bathroom, right? So this is why we were considering just putting a washer and dryer in here, stackable, building a little closet for it because we have tub and shower over here. And we have all this empty space, but two toilets. Um, but we have a toilet here. Again, more empty space over here. Behind you guys, double vanity, his and hers. So just so much space in this bathroom. I do wish it was more windows, but it's okay. Okay, bedroom counter, bedroom number three. Another one, two windows, big closet. Good ceiling height, same thing on all three. Are they all the exact same square footage it feels like? It feels like. It feels like three perfectly square, same rooms. But check out this room right here. Common denominator of this house, four years. Am I saying that right? Four year. Four year. Four year. I've been saying four year the whole time. Yo, this is not a bedroom. This is literally like the waiting room, the hangout for when you want to go in the bedroom. Yeah, you literally can have like a whole couch set outside of your bedroom. You can have the TV outside of where your bed is because you don't actually enter the bedroom until you walk through this door. Wow, and they got two doors. So you can actually have separate. If you have a baby, you can have, that could be like a nursery. So anyway, this is the master bedroom. So again, even greater size than the other one. Same ceiling height. We got an extra window, three windows. Um, this might be the biggest master bedroom of any house we ever bought. So keep that for your record books. Uh, I see we got our tub here. I always wanted one of these style tubs in our flips. We just never had budget for it. But one of these tubs that, there's a word for them, but basically it's not like 
flush to the wall. It's just gonna sit kind of out in the open with the faucet from the ground. I don't know, it's gonna be cool and fancy. There's fancy words for this. I'm not a contractor or interior designer, so. No, this is not another bedroom. This is a bathroom. So again, a massive bathroom. You can see they still the tiling here. This is where that tub is gonna go. So you can see we already tiled this beautiful black tile around the, uh, the tub area. And then we have a separate standing shower over here that's also already tiled. So our contractors, they heard my cry, slamming through the project because time is money. Double vanity over here, his and hers, toilet, and again, just empty space over here. I'm imagining a big old mirror. Yeah, this is like another closet. But I'm imagining a big old mirror because the actual closet is in here. So we have a nice size walk-in closet, a foyer for your room, uh, whatever this is. I mean, it can even be a bench or a shoe wall right there. There's just so much you could do with this property. All right, let's go back downstairs and wrap this up. All right, guys, that's 9009 McKeithen Lane in, where we at? Leland, North Carolina. It's a hot deal, we're excited. Uh, like I said, my mom, I'm so proud of her for finding this deal. This is the second deal that she was able to find us. And her second deal happened to be a home run deal. But again, it's not a home run until we see the ball go over the fence. So I will see you guys then. Peace. Hi, my name is Lori. I'm here at 9009 McKeithen Lane, one of our projects. We're going to walk around the property and then we're going to go inside. Come on. Starting out on the outside, it was a really ugly, I think green color, but our contractors, they chose this color. Nice contrast. I'm happy with it. We've got all of this land here, all of this property. Room for ADU in the back. So we've got the fenced in backyard here, leading to the oversized patio, which they did a nice job on. New windows on the property. So now let's check out the inside. So we've got my favorite room whatever you want it to be. And the living room, we're assuming all nice oversized rooms in the property. And the kitchen kind of speaks for itself. And I love the floors, opportunity to put a kitchen island if you want, just really nice. A form a formal dining room, love the lighting, just open and airy. So we've got some more hallways to maneuver into the laundry room. This bathroom was actually a little space here, so added a whole full bathroom. There's a shower on this wall behind me. And I didn't mention the foyer itself. This is another one of my favorite areas. Some more lovely lighting. Let's go upstairs. I'm gonna save the master suite for last. A nice oversized bedroom here. All right, so come on in this bathroom with me. Love the his and her sink. And this is not the master. Nice touch. Here's bedroom number two. Nice and airy. Bedroom number three. Plenty of windows. And my favorite room. Here we have the master suite and whatever this is, some think maybe a nursery, office, or just sitting space. Hardwood floors, beautiful. This fourth bedroom, huge, plenty of space. King size bed, dressers, and everybody's favorite space. Speaks for itself. So that ends our tour of 9009 McKeithen Lane Project. It's currently listed on the market. Come and schedule a show. <laughs>